Welcome to Take It From The Iron Woman. My name is Susanne Müller, your host and the Iron Woman. This podcast is about empowering yourself and others to make real changes in the world. You will hear from everyday, smart, sophisticated, hip people like you and me. Not everybody has to be an Iron Woman to impress the world. Together, we will learn from the sports and business leaders how you can become a more successful person as an entrepreneur or a leader. It's one step at a time, one day at a time. Take your steps now. Take your big steps now. Join me on this journey to success. Take it from the Iron Woman. And again, we only have special guests. And now we hear from her new project. Who is Erika? When Erika is not speaking at the conference. Yes, I have my little dog who wants to be a part of our podcast. That's okay. 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 Yeah, Let's talk a little bit about your new project. I think this is so exciting. And I see on Facebook, you have a picture with Kamala Harris. Oh, I'm one step closer to Kamala Harris. So tell us. And you have the beautiful smile. Tell us what is your new passion project and how can we support you and how can we learn from it? The art of the third power. I am over the moon. You know, sometimes they say um, if you watch football and they're at the Super Bowl or some, some big championship and people say, I've been training all of my life for this moment. That's what I feel about this project. Mm. It is called R to the Third Power, and that means it's about reuniting us as a country, as a group of people, as a community. It's about reconciliation, and it's about reimagining who we can be. And really, this is applicable globally because everybody has got some stuff that they've been going through, right? And oftentimes, those things are systemic, the society of that particular country. But also, it's right next door. I mean, sometimes we need to reunite with our neighbor, Mm -hmm. with our ex-spouse, with our mom, sister, brother, a boss from four years ago. I mean, it is time to reunite. And Mm -hmm. hopefully this last year has taught us that, that life can go very quickly and things can Mm -hmm. shift very quickly. So if not now, when? And so it's about reuniting. It's about reconciling. And by that, I mean, it doesn't mean that you're so happy about something that has taken place, but that we have made an agreement and acknowledged whatever that is. And we have come to some agreement about how we will move forward together. And then what I'm super excited about, it's about reimagining a new mm-hmm. future. Mm-hmm. What could your community look like? your state, your country, your business environment, what could it look like? And how could it be a place that's equitable, that's compassionate, that's peaceful, that's safe, that's enjoyable for everyone, not just for some people, but for everyone to live and to work. That's my my new passion project. So R to the third power is, again, reunite, reconcile, and reimagining. And to the third power, imagine if we did it exponentially. Uh, What I'm asking people to do is take a pledge. I've got a pledge on my Facebook page, and the page is reunite, reconcile, and reimagine. And it's just a pledge to commit to just listening to other perspectives Mm -hmm. instead of always putting yours forward. And then it's a commitment to participate in some sort of listening. There are all over the country, there are diversity dinners, there are town Mm -hmm. halls, other organizations, municipalities have times where people come together. And just so you can hear different opinions, we'll commit to doing that Mm -hmm. because it's hard to reconcile something that you can't acknowledge and you can't acknowledge because you don't know. And then the last part of the commitment is to to commit to do something in, in the space of reimagining what it can mm, be. That's beautiful. And what I like is the paloma, the dove in the middle. So the peace, 
we need some more peace. And I think it's also the inner peace. At least for me, like the last few years have been so loud and so in my face. And it feels like we need some, maybe I just talk for myself. I need some quiet time. And every year I create a word that I, this is kind of like my mantra. Mm -hmm. And for this year, I felt like I want to focus more on balance. So that okay. feels like the art to the third power is also like focus a little bit on myself, but yes. then also what can I give to the community to pay forward and helping others? I'm mentoring. It's about helping others and don't take yourself so serious. Make life better for yourself and others. I love it. So well said. And I'm so glad you noticed the dove in the logo. And that's just what it is about. It is about peace. But all of these things always start with you. Always. You always start with yourself. Because if you're not peaceful, it's impossible to create peace outside of yourself. Okay. So what a great point. And what I like, the proverb, the African one is, if you want to walk fast, walk alone. If you want to walk far, walk together, right? Exactly. Together, you can make much more. And we all know the women movement that we're part of, the women leadership and beyond. It's all about uniting and working together and then sharing with others. Yes, Exactly. Exactly. Which is, I was serious when I said, I feel like I've been sort of training for this all my life because it really fits nicely into everything that I've been doing and everything that I believe in from the conference to a lot of my work is in diversity and inclusion. It's very similar. A lot of the uh, things that I do with my sorority and other organizations, it's, it all has come together and it feels just like now it's time to to just make it its own platform, if you will. And I also think that the pandemic in a way is or has been a time to be a disruptor. So look at your project and it's now the time to do it. If not now, then when, right? I feel like there's a lot of people, they need our help. And a friend of mine says, you're so optimistic. I'm like, yeah, let's use that time to do something great and help others. I know some of people, they, they have a hard time working from home. It's not so easy. But yeah. if you have something to look forward to, I know you're on Facebook Live. Can we follow you? What is your plan to connect with the world and how can we follow you? Yes, I'd love for you to go to my new page, which is Reunite, Reconcile, and Reimagine. Mm -hmm. And if you like the page, you can take the pledge. You'll see a lot of live videos there. Mm -hmm. And certainly you can find me at Erica Walker. And that's Erica with a K. And mm -hmm. there'll be links on my personal page that can link you mm -hmm. over to this new R to the Third Power page. Okay. But I'm excited about going live regularly and spreading the word. And I would say this, which is just a personal growth for me. These ideas are not new for me. I mean, this is just who mm -hmm. I am. I would in the past say, oh, well, people aren't ready or they, they won't they won't go for it or they're going to think you're too, too optimistic. Cause I hear that all the time. <laughs> and now I'm at a place. So your word, you talked about your word for this year is balance. Well, my words are be free for me, be free to be who I really am, regardless to what other people think. And with a movement like this, I believe that it's always a group of people that help to shepherd things along it's enough people that eventually we build enough momentum to bring everyone along. And I think Biden mentioned that in his inaugural speech. I'm not certain, but it's a principle that I really have lived by. And sometimes I'm just chicken. I'm not now. I, I have a, a big vision for this. It happens to be the good timing, but even if it wasn't, it, it's time for me to be, to self-express in this way. And we all know when you're leaders, Sometimes we want to be liked by everybody, but that's not possible. I think now is the time and mm -hmm. now you need to start that movement. And if not now, then when? Good exactly. luck, Erica. We're Thank here you. with you. As I hear from Janine, always like we're here with you. We want to support you and go for it. Art to the Wonderful. third power. Thank you so Thank much. You. All Thank the best you. to you. Thank you, Erica. So exciting. The world is ready for you. Let's support her. Find her on Facebook. Follow her movement. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have episodes every Monday, every Wednesday. There is something for everybody. There are episodes about running, 
sports or leadership. So don't miss out. Subscribe on your favorite platform. And Take It From The Iron Woman is also a book. Get it on Amazon. Take It From The Iron Woman is a podcast and a book. Follow us. Thank you so much for your support.